Hello everybody, my name is Gregory Peterson, and this is my photo story presentation. I have Giant Greg as my acronym and name on the opening slide because I am tall, but you can just leave the giant out and just call me Greg. The first disposition I wanted to get into was collegiality. I wanted to be able to find a cooperation between students and colleagues so we can work what's best for students instead of just what's best for the school district. A little more into why I chose collegiality was because I wanted to be able to work with students and listen to what they had to say so that I can then input it into my lessons and into my class because it shows that I care and it shows that I'm listening to them so I can kind of form this bond between them and it just shows that I, what's, I want what's in their best interest and I'm not trying to be their enemy. My second disposition was learning and the reason why I chose learning was because it's so important to becoming a teacher and it's so important to just continue to learn more about the world around you and the people around you, which is why I think respecting individual differences amongst students is so important to their ability to learn in the classroom. More specifically, why I chose learning was because I was a student that did not learn as fast as my other peers. So being able to teach in more than one way was so important to me. Not every student learns at the same way or goes at the same pace. So creating a more inclusive way inside the classroom will ensure that your students have a better time learning the subject and are able to learn better. For my final disposition statement, I had diversity. And I wanted to go into more diversity because of how important it's going to be inside my classroom and inside teaching those different point of views and perspectives that other people have. The reason as to why is because causing students to be exposed to other point of views is so important. It makes them look at the world more critically and not just believe whatever they're told firsthand. It want, makes them want to know why and learn why and go out and find an answer while also being able to see the bigger picture and not just in tunnel vision. Now we get to the fun part the interesting facts. Um, I am a military brat. My father served around 17 years inside the United States Marine Corps. So I got around, I got to move around the United States and go see the world. And in the bottom right picture, it is me laying on my dad's lap right after he got off of work. And this is personally one of my favorite baby pictures of me, just because of how precious it looks. My next interesting fact is that I played lacrosse. Um, from my sixth grade to about junior year is when I played, so about six years is when I played, um, and I had a great time. Uh, I will occasionally pick up a lacrosse stick and just start twirling it around, and it brings back so many good memories. But I, uh, I don't play it as much anymore just because I was not good enough to play college, and no, I don't really think I would, so, you know, it worked out for the best. Finally, uh, the last interesting fact I had was that I lived in Japan for three years. Um, with my dad being in the military and us moving around, he got uh, stationed in Okinawa, Japan, and we went with him because family sticks together. And it was such a big cultural experience for me, and I had such a great time there. I learned so much just from not being in America, learning what it's like to be in a different country, and it's just so interesting and it's an experience that I'm really glad I had and something that I'm really glad I was able to be a part of just in general. It was great. 